Traveling through the world of zombies, Qin Zhe became a disciple passed down by the leader of Mao Shan and the junior brother of Joshu. In the dangerous zombie world everywhere, he doesn't know any magic, but fortunately, he inherits the Kaido template from the One Piece world. So, in a world full of evil energy, ghosts, and zombies, there was an additional young Taoist who used violence to transcend. No matter what kind of demons and monsters, they all use violence to push everything horizontally. Flying zombies for thousands of years, descending from heaven to earth, and lurking corpses for thousands of miles. Here's a thunderous gossip for you. The Ghost King is born, causing harm to people's lives. Eat me and I will be a tyrant. Senior Shi Jian is proficient in thunder technique, can he rub his hands and feel thunder in his palm? Watch me drop black lightning, open up all three colors of dominance. Uncle Jiu. What's the situation? Why did this thing happen in Maoshan? Bu Hua Gu said, I've seen something hard before, but I've never seen anything harder than me. One day, amidst the chaos of warlords and wars, people who had suffered greatly suddenly saw a huge green dragon soaring in the wild. Keywords of the novel Zombie Fusion Kaido Template, My Violent Superb No Pop-Ups, Zombie Fusion Kaido Template, My Violent Superb Complete TXT Download, Zombie Fusion Kaido Template, My Violent Superb Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Inheriting the Kaido Template Have you ever seen a Taoist practicing blocks? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 Inheriting the Kaido Template have you ever seen a Taoist practicing blocks? Little Taoist, are you really from Mao Shan? I can't joke about this. Yeah. It's difficult to deal with the evil creatures in the mountain. One mistake could result in losing one's life. Dot. In Wujia village, a group of villagers dressed in linen and coarse cloth were discussing something around a young man wearing a Taoist robe, with a tone full of doubt and concern. Three days ago, strange things happened in their village one after another. Someone went out to collect herbs and disappeared inexplicably. At first, people thought he was just lost in the mountains, trapped in the mountains and unable to find his way home, so they sent someone out to search. As a result, it was discovered that a person had been found, but they had turned into living corpses that were neither human nor ghostly. The entire village was instantly shrouded in terror. Afterwards, several people in the village went missing, and so far, six villagers have disappeared without a trace. Even those who don't understand 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 that evil things have appeared in the mountains, causing harm to living people. Ku Xia Wu, where did they deal with it? So he sent someone out to seek assistance and happened to find a young Taoist who passed by the village. However, this young Taoist is somewhat different from what they imagined and his image is vastly different from what they had imagined he has a burly and muscular figure, standing at a height of 1.9 meters. Under the cover of the Taoist robe, one can see the bulging muscles of the knot, and the originally loose Taoist robe is bulging. If it weren't for his sword eyebrows, starry eyes, handsome features, and age of only around 20, they would all believe that he was a bandit from two village who had just run down the mountain. The young man standing in the middle of the crowd smiled and waved to the villagers, saying that he had just emerged from Mao Shan and was indeed a Taoist. As for solving the evil spirits, it was not a problem. The elderly village chief hesitated for a moment, but still walked out of the crowd trembling, that little Taoist. May I ask if you have brought any Taoist artifacts with you? Every Taoist has his own magical weapon, such as the simplest peach wood sword, cloth bag, cinnabar, yellow paper talisman, which are powerful tools for killing evil things. He couldn't help but ask when he saw the young man empty-handed and without anything. No, there's no need. The young man raised his fist and said, this is enough. As soon as these words were spoken, the villagers became even more puzzled in their eyes. The Taoist used his fist. Are you sure he's not joking? Young people are not surprised by the reactions of the villagers. To deal with evil spirits, fists are definitely enough. 
he is not an ordinary Taoist. The man's name is Qin Zhe, and he is a traveler who travels to the zombie world after watching a zombie movie at this time, it is a turbulent situation, with warlords engaged in a chaotic battle and struggling to make a living. Human life is like grass, and the consequences of war are littered with corpses. Anger, stagnation, evil energy, and so on fill the world and cannot dissipate, giving rise to many demons and monsters. When he first arrived, he happened to be traveling with the leader of the Maoshan sect. He was considered to have exceptional skills and was one of the most outstanding cultivators in the world. Therefore, he was brought back to the mountain gate and became the disciple of the leader of the Maoshan sect, the youngest junior brother of Uncle Jiu. Among the many disciples of Mao Shan, there are many inherited techniques, such as driving corpses, asking rice, drawing symbols, feng shui, and so on. For example, Uncle Jiu is best at catching ghosts and eliminating demons, followed by feng shui. For example, the four-eyed Taoist is best at driving corpses and asking for rice, followed by asking for divine assistance. For example, Senior brother Shi Jian is best at magic and morality, followed by drawing symbols. And Qin Zhe is an exception. He has ten orifices and nine orifices for many techniques in Mao Shan, which can be said to be completely ignorant. After all, what Taoist teachings can one expect a modern traveler to comprehend? So, on a sunny day, the leader summoned Qin Zhe into the room and had an in-depth conversation. The general content is. You have a strong foundation and exceptional talent, but Mao Shan now lacks the ability to educate you. Hurry down the mountain. I believe you can make a name for yourself there. Translated. You were released by the sect. So. Qin Zhe began his journey in the martial arts world. He is also happy and at ease. Because although he did not understand Taoist techniques, he awakened the system and inherited the template of Kaido in the world of pirates. As Qin Zhe's thoughts moved, the system template came into view. Name Qin Zhe Devil Fruit Development Beginner, Human Beast Form, Unlocked, Green Dragon Form, Unlocked, Tri-Color Dominance Armed Dominance, Junior, Seeing Dominance, Unawakened, Dominance Dominance, Unawakened, Skill Non-physical fitness. Mid-green stiff period merit point. Zero, merit points can be used to improve integration. Then, please trouble the little Taoist. A sentence pulled Qin Zhe's thoughts back, and the elderly village chief pondered for a while before finally choosing to believe the young man in front of him. Nowadays, the situation in Wujia village is severe, and they have no way to deal with the evil spirits in the mountains. It's better to treat the dead horse as a living horse doctor, after all, the Taoist robe worn by Qin Zhe doesn't look fake. Qin Zhe nodded and agreed, asking the villagers to give a brief description of the situation. After oral communication from the villagers, he had a rough idea of what was happening in this village. A dead person turns into a living corpse, and there are two holes on their neck. This is not a demon, obviously there are zombies nearby, sucking human blood and practicing martial arts. Is it a zombie? The villagers trembled when they heard Qin Zhe's words, and their faces were filled with fear. As small villagers in remote areas, they had never heard of such things before. They had always thought that the villagers were just possessed by evil. The village chief was equally fearful in his heart, but as the village chief, he maintained a calm demeanor and looked at Qin Zhe, whispering, so, little Taoist, what should we do next? Wait. Qin Zhe said calmly, zombies like Yin. They won't appear easily in broad daylight now. Wait until the sun sets at night. After dark. Time passed quickly, and night fell quietly. Wu family village, which was still a bit angry during the day, was instantly completely shrouded in black at night. There was a dead breath, and through the silver rays of moonlight, a faint white mist could be seen spreading around the village. Accompanied by the chirping of unknown animals, it appears eerie and terrifying. 
At the entrance of the village, a group of villagers held torches and waited with fear on their faces, while Qin Zhe stood behind them, constantly monitoring changes in the situation. Little Taoist, is this really feasible? A villager couldn't help but ask. They have been standing for several hours, but still haven't noticed any situation. Don't worry. Qin Zidao said, zombies like to suck human blood. With so many people around, they will definitely come. The method of using villagers to lure out zombies may be a bit clumsy, but it is currently the most practical method. In no time, the fog around the village became noticeably stronger, with a heavy and gloomy aura. Qin Zhe clenched his fist and knew that time was almost over. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Violence Against Zombies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Violence Against Zombies Meanwhile, on the other side A remote dirt road outside Wujia village a man in his thirties is leisurely pacing on the dirt road. He stood on the bridge of his nose with a pair of round framed glasses, wearing a black Taoist hat on his head and a yellow Taoist robe on his body. With a wooden pole hanging a Taoist flag in his left hand and a copper bell in his right hand, he looked relaxed and at ease. Ding lingling. Ding lingling. The bell swayed a few times and made a crisp sound. In the shadow behind him, Two rows of corpses dressed in Qing dynasty costumes stood, and under the action of the bell, they jumped out neatly as if receiving some command. His face was as pale as paper, and there was a stiff talisman made of yellow paper pasted on his forehead. The dead must leave, the living must not look. The man shouted loudly, his voice slowly dissipating in the dark night, while the zombies behind continued to move forward in an orderly manner under his guidance. The man's name is Simu Daochang, and he is a Maoshan Taoist. As a successful practitioner of Taoism, he has always been responsible for slaying demons and eliminating demons, but sometimes he also needs to earn some food money. A few days ago, he took on such a task of removing corpses, which required collecting them and safely bringing them to the destination area. At this moment, he had already left for half a night. It's getting late. We need to find a place to settle down first. The four-eyed Taoist looked up at the moonlight and said to himself. Due to the fear of light, zombies are usually driven out at night, so it is important to find a place to rest and rest before the sun rises. This small mountain village seems to be a good choice. Looking around, he looked at the nearby village and murmured, I hope it won't disturb them. No. However, the next second, the four-eyed long nose twitched slightly, tightening the bell in the palm of his hand and stopping his steps. His eyebrows furrowed slightly, realizing that the matter was not simple. What a heavy corpse gas! The scattered expression on his face disappeared and immediately became serious. As a Taoist who came out of Mao Shan, although he was not as powerful as Joshu, he also had a whole set of skills. Through perception, it is not difficult to find that the corpse aura in the village is even heavier than the living person aura, which is obviously abnormal. There are zombies around. It seems like it has become a certain climate. Such a heavy corpse aura is likely to have formed a zombie, and this zombie should have consumed a lot of human blood. The Taoist was outside, providing relief to the people. When faced with such a situation, he could not stand idly by. The four-eyed Taoist let go of the bell again, reciting the mnemonic to drive away the corpse, and quickly rushed towards the village. In no time, he saw flames appearing in the village, which made his heart sink even more. At this point in time, villagers usually go to bed early, and when the flames light up, and it's so dazzling, something must have happened. Quickly walking, the four-eyed Taoist arrived at the position of the firelight. He leaned against a earthen house, shining with the light of a torch, and looked inside from a distance. At a glance, Qin Zhe stood out among the crowd in height. Hmm. Is there a Taoist? The four-eyed Taoist's face was startled. He didn't expect to see his companions here, and this Taoist also looked a bit too strong. If it weren't for that outfit, he would have thought the other party was some kind of bandit. 
Looking at the villagers gathered next to him, the four-eyed Taoist immediately tightened his heart and was about to curse his mother. At night, when Yin Chi is at its peak, with so many villagers gathering together, zombies will definitely smell it. The guy who can emit such a powerful corpse aura may have turned into a green zombie. The green zombie's strength can be considered strong. It's not that easy to deal with. Even he doesn't have a 100% chance of winning. As for this young man, he has no tools and no signs of cultivation. Without a doubt. This behavior of gathering villagers to lure zombies is nothing more than giving away human heads. The world is going downhill. Now anyone can act as a Taoist. The four Taoist priests were somewhat angry, feeling that the young people were puffing up their faces and pretending to be fat, regardless of the life or death of others. But the matter needs to be resolved. We can't just watch the villagers die in the mouth of the zombies, pull out the peach wood sword from behind and hold it in our hands. Taoist Simu observes the surrounding situation and is ready to kill them at any time. At this moment, at the entrance of the village, the white mist is getting thicker and thicker. A eerie aura spreads throughout various locations. A rustling sound came from the nearby grass, as if something was about to emerge from it. The hearts of the villagers were instantly lifted to their throats, their bodies trembling uncontrollably, and their hands holding torches were also involuntarily shaking. Under the reflection of the flames, the swaying grass swayed a few times before returning to calmness. Just when the villagers thought there was nothing wrong and their hearts had just fallen. Suddenly. A few zombies rushed out from the grass on the other side, roaring terrifyingly. His face was waxen yellow, his teeth were wide open, and his mouth emitted a foul odor as he rushed towards the villagers. With a loud crash. Seeing such a terrifying scene, the villagers didn't have the courage to stand and scatter in an instant. The village chief suppressed his fear and turned to look at Qin Zhe, saying, Little Taoist, hurry up. However, halfway through the conversation, he realized that the young Taoist who was still standing next to him had disappeared with just one swipe. There is only a shallow pit left in place with one foot stepping out. Looking at the zombie rushing towards us again, after a dull sound, it flew out like a broken kite. With a loud bang, it hit the ground. The sound spread and pulled the scattered village names back, stopping one by one and looking at the scene with shocked eyes. What just happened? Little Taoist just punched the zombie and knocked it over. What is the situation? However, this is only the beginning. Under the amazed gaze of the villagers, Qin Zhe, dressed in Taoist attire, rushed into the zombie swarm, as if entering an uninhabited realm. Living like a god of war, the raging power fills the bones of the fist, and the raging energy punches one by one. Those zombies, let alone resist, haven't had time to hide one by one. Dong dong dong. The sound of punches hitting the zombies kept coming, and Qin Zhe's figure was like a ghost. The increase brought by the Kaiduo template is not only about power, but also about terrifying speed. A few breaths. The zombies that frightened the villagers were completely defeated with his violent fists. Qin Zhe stepped on the zombie's head with one foot, and carried a corpse with the other hand as if carrying a chick. The villagers stood there one by one, thinking about countless situations, but to their surprise, they would say that this way would solve them. Is this Nima a Taoist? After a long time, the village head came to his senses and said excitedly, What a blind man! He almost despised the Taoist priest before. Qin Zhe ignored the village chief, and a systematic voice rang in his mind. Congratulations to the host. Kill five black zombies and earn 500 merit points. First time killing zombies, reward 2000 merit points. System panel update. Name. Qin Zhe Devil Fruit Development. Beginner. Human Beast Form, Unlocked, Green Dragon Form, Unlocked, Tri-Color Dominance. Armed Dominance, Junior, Seeing Dominance, Unawakened, Dominance Dominance, Unawakened, Skill. None Physical Fitness. 
Mid Green Stiff Period Merit Point. 2500, End of this Chapter. Chapter 3 Green Zombie. It's just a plaything. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Green Zombie. It's just a plaything. Consuming merit points can improve template integration. Does the host choose to consume it? Qin Zhe's eyes lit up slightly and he chose to consume. Ding. Consume 2,500 merit points. Congratulations to the host, awaken the power of seeing and hearing colors. Qin Zhe felt a sense of joy in his heart. I didn't expect to awaken another kind of dominance of the three colors. In the world of pirates, the aura of seeing and hearing is extremely powerful, including but not limited to perceiving attacks, predicting the opponent's next actions, perceiving the strength of creatures, and perceiving the position and quantity of objects in the field of vision. Developed in greater depth, even able to detect changes in the breath and emotions of surrounding organisms, anticipate and avoid danger, and read through human hearts. In the moment of awakening to the dominance of seeing and hearing colors, Qin Zhe felt his five senses become exceptionally sensitive, and some voices and things that were never heard or seen suddenly became incredibly clear at this moment. All senses seemed to have experienced an indescribable wonder of sublimation. At this moment, next to the earthen house, four Taoist priests watched what had just happened and swallowed their saliva in disbelief. At the moment the zombie appeared, he was about to rush out with a peach wood sword to break free. But who could have thought of it? That young man who looks like a bandit is even more violent than his mother's zombie. A pair of fists struck three times, dividing five by two, and solved all the troubles. The zombie that was hammered away had no good parts on its body, either missing arms or legs, or its entire head was smashed to pieces, demonstrating its immense strength. If it weren't for witnessing it with one's own eyes, who would believe such a thing if it were told? In his mind, he couldn't help but practice various Taoist techniques that he had seen in Maoshan. He couldn't believe that this was something that humans could do. I want to find some traces. Hiss, there is no magic specifically for cultivating physical fitness like this. The four-eyed Taoist was a bit confused, realizing that there was no magic that could match the young man in front of him. It seemed like he was really relying on brute force. Looking at Qin Zhe's flesh and tendons all over his body. Four-eyed Taoist suddenly felt that all of this seemed to be more reasonable. However, in awe, this battle is not yet over. The zombies that just appeared are just some small karami, the truly powerful ones are the climate-changing green zombies. Green zombies can emit a strong corpse aura, with a green body and extremely fast jumping. They are not afraid of humans or livestock. Although this young man has strong physical fitness. But he doesn't think it can be compared to green zombie. After all, the green zombie is known as a copper skin and iron bone, and it is difficult to cut it with ordinary iron tools. Taoist, please accept my respect. The village chief said nothing but to kneel down and kowtow to Qin Zhe, helping the village solve such a big problem, which is no different from their reincarnated parents. Qin Zhe threw the dismembered zombie in his hand aside and quickly supported the village chief, saying. It's just my job. And it's not over yet, there's a big one. Although he doesn't understand Taoism, he has also watched many zombie movies. Zombies, dead but not stiff, are formed by resentment gathering in the throat because they die without closing their eyes. To absorb the yin energy of the moon and practice by sucking blood, and in this small mountain village, so many people have been sucking blood. In fact, the strength is definitely not just as unbearable as the black zombie underfoot. The zombie that truly harms people may have already become the green zombie. Seeing and hearing the release of his dominant aura, Qin Zhe closed his eyes and his perception continued to spread towards the front position. Moment all kinds of information around me come to mind. Grass, ants, wind, and lingering corpse aura found it. Qin Zhe raised his mouth slightly and locked his target behind the grass, where a zombie was about to move and its aura was raging. Without a doubt. 
It is precisely the culprit behind this village incident. Qin Zhe's words have just finished. A sound could be heard from behind the grass, perhaps because the dispatched zombies were all extinguished and felt angry, or perhaps because Qin Zhe sensed it. Green zombie catapult starts. With a bang. The grass was violently pushed open, and green zombie jumped out directly from inside, like a shooting arrow. The speed was incredibly fast, and by the time people reacted, they had already stood in front of them. His body is dry, his clothes are torn, his eyes are dark and emitting a faint light. Below his neck, the green hair appears to seep in the moonlight. With a long mouth and fangs shimmering in the moonlight with a chilly chill. At the moment when the green-haired zombie came out, the villagers around turned pale and quickly hid behind Qin Zhe. This zombie looks much stronger than what appeared before. Good day. Qin Zhe twisted his neck. The next moment. His aura suddenly rose, and the raging energy instantly filled his limbs. With his powerful figure, the Taoist robe seemed to be about to be stretched out by the towering muscles. Dong. Accompanied by a loud explosion. A pit appeared in the same spot, and Qin Zhe took a swift step towards Green Zombie and punched him. The Green Stiff, who had developed some intelligence, let out an unpleasant and piercing scream in his mouth. It seemed unexpected that the Taoist in front of him rushed forward to choose hand-to-hand -hand combat, and a hint of schadenfreude appeared on his rotten cheeks. For Qin Zhe's attack, it does not retreat but advances instead, kicking its legs on the ground and thrusting its dark fingernail arms straight towards Qin Zhe, carrying great power. If hit by this move, not to mention ordinary humans, even a stone brick can penetrate several holes. The villagers all had frightened faces and quickly reminded Qin Zhe to avoid. But Qin Zhe is going to confront him head dot on, inheriting the Kaiduo template. His physical fitness is in the middle of the green freeze, not to mention, and he is also blessed with armed color dominance. In addition, with the newly awakened aura of his aura, even the peak of the green zombie, or even the Mao zombie, is not necessarily his opponent. Dealing with a newly formed green zombie is simply not too simple. Click. Qin Zhe grabbed the straight arm of LV Nguan and forcefully broke it. In the next moment, he whipped with one leg and swept towards the green stiff. In the shocked reflection of the village name's pupils, the green stiff body was instantly knocked off the whip leg, like a broken kite flying horizontally. With the support of raging power, the green-haired zombie smashed a pit on the ground, pushed horizontally along the way, and cut a long trail. The flowers, plants, and trees along the path were instantly flattened. Bang bang! Qin Zhe's figure turned into a stream of light, following closely behind, with punches falling like raindrops. Under this violent blow, the green zombie is completely unable to resist, and with some intelligence, it can only huddle in a corner trembling. Knowing that it was not easy to provoke in front of him, his green and stiff eyes rolled around and he was about to run. His still healthy legs kicked hard and disappeared into the thick fog. Do you want to run? Qin Zhe sneered. Although he didn't have a Taoist compass to track him, he had already locked in his position and his figure was like a shell coming out of the barrel. After a few breaths. Boom. There was a loud noise in the distance, and the rich white mist instantly dissipated. People followed the sound and looked over. A figure swept through the night and landed straight in front of the villagers, while in his hand, he still held on to the green zombie who had just wanted to escape. It is covered in wounds that have been blasted out everywhere, and there is a large blood hole in its chest. Taoist, truly. Truly a divine person. Seeing this scene, the villagers were deeply moved and their breath was noticeably suffocated. Just now, the terrifying zombie was solved like this. They found it difficult to express their inner shock in words, only feeling that they had met a divine being. Qin Zhe threw the body aside and clapped his hands, saying, put the zombies together and burn all the fire. These things may not be able to come back to life, but they can breed in energy. It is best to dispose of them with fire. 
The villagers dared not disobey, quickly nodding and following suit. A few middle-aged people stacked the smashed zombies together and threw their torches into it. Moment the fire surged, and the flames filled the sky, casting a crimson glow on the horizon. Qin Zhe nodded in satisfaction. In that case, the trouble in the village was completely solved. Then, he turned his head to look at the distant rocks and said softly, Friend Dao, you've seen quite a bit. You can come out now. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Target Rinja Town You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 4 Target Rinja Town When awakening to the domineering aura of seeing and hearing, all the details around were already visible, and the prominent row of zombies next to the earth and rock was naturally among them. Accompanied by a crisp sound of bells, the four-eyed Taoist appeared from the black shadow and walked quickly with a smile on his face. He kept staring at Qin Zhe, as if he had seen some novel creature, his eyes couldn't help but marvel. Without using any spells or Taoist artifacts, he solved the green zombie with his bare hands and couldn't help but marvel. Qin Zhe was slightly surprised and said, Senior brother. He is a disciple of Mao Shan and ranks the smallest among the 18th generation disciples. In terms of identity and seniority, the Four Eyes Taoist is his senior brother. But his initial attention was entirely focused on the rank zombies and green zombies, but he didn't pay much attention to anything else. Unexpectedly, the person watching next to him was the Four Eyed Taoist. Senior Brother The Four Eyed Taoist was even more surprised than Qin Zhe on his face and said, Do you know me? He doesn't know Qin Zhe. In times of chaos, there has always been a rule in Mao Shan that after disciples have completed their studies, they are not allowed to stay at the mountain gate. They need to walk around to protect safety and solve the many difficulties caused by evil energy for the people who are in distress. Zhou Xu, Qian He Dao Chang, Companion Ghost Dao Chang, and other Mao Shan Taoists are all like this. Most of the remaining disciples on Mao Shan are resident disciples, newly recruited junior brothers, or elderly mountain guardians preparing to return to their roots. Qin Zhe joined Mao Shan a year ago, and the Four Eyes Taoist has been away from Mao Shan for several years now. It is normal not to know this new junior brother. Qin Zhe smiled and explained his identity. The Four Eyed Taoist was clear, but he was even more shocked. I'll be obedient. He didn't expect Qin Zhe to be his junior brother, let alone Mao Shan, which has always been famous for Taoism to have a talent for tearing up zombies with bare hands. Thinking of Qin Zhe's fierce method of subduing zombies just now, he suddenly felt that the peach wood sword in his hand was no longer fragrant. This simple method of eliminating violence was much faster than his own. But I remember when I was inside the mountain gate, I never saw such a Taoist in the entire mountain gate. How was Mao Shan trained? He was surprised in his heart and decided that when he returned to the mountain gate, he must ask his master about the situation. What he doesn't know is that if his master hears these things, he will also look puzzled. It means I don't know. Little Taoist. There are also zombies. At this moment, the villagers looked at a row of corpses standing behind the four-eyed Taoist, their faces pale and trembling as they spoke. For I Taoist knew they had misunderstood and explained with a smile, don't worry, these are dead objects, they don't harm anyone. The villagers finally let out a sigh and let go of the stones in their hearts. The matter was resolved and the final work was completed. With the enthusiastic and active arrangement of the village chief, Qin Zhe and Simu Dao Chang were arranged to rest in a spacious and tidy ancestral hall. The four-eyed Taoist carefully placed the corpse properly, clapped his hands, sat on the grass mat, and looked at Qin Zhe, saying, Junior brother, where are you planning to go from now on? Qin Zidao said, Go to senior brother Lin Fengjiao's place. I heard that senior brother Lin has opened a charity village in Rinjia town. When watching zombie movies in his past life, Qin Zhe loved Xiao Xu very much. His character was indescribable and he was upright. 
If you want to find a temporary foothold in this chaotic world, there is no doubt that Uncle Joe's place would be a very good choice. Of course, in addition, there is another reason why following Uncle Joe is easy to encounter problems. Monsters and monsters will always appear, and solving them can quickly earn merit points. The destination for this trip is Ringia Town. The four-eyed Taoist's eyes lit up as he didn't know Qin Zhe's true thoughts. He just thought this choice was a good one and laughed, senior brother Lin, let alone anything else. There's no problem with character. Actually, I haven't seen him for a long time, but unfortunately, I still have a few joyful gods left to collect. Otherwise, we can still go the same way next. Shi Shen is a professional term used by corpse hunters to refer to walking corpses, which is a homophone for the dead. When the corpse driver receives a task, they will gather some people who died in foreign lands and then move to another location, which is somewhat like an alternative type of postman. During this period, it is necessary to control the time to prevent any unnecessary changes. Although Simu Dao Chang really wants to travel with Qin Zhe, he is currently not on the same path. Qin Zhe smiled slightly, and the four eyed Taoist was also a frequent character in zombie movies. Although his strength was not as strong as Uncle Nine, he was righteous and sometimes even more playful than Uncle Nine's seriousness. However, there will be times to meet again in the future, not because of this. The two of them chatted for a while and didn't finish the conversation until late at night. The sound of roosters rang out, and the next day it was time for Qin Zhe to wake up and bid farewell to the four-eyed Taoist. The corpse removal usually takes place at night, so during the day, the four-eyes Taoist still needs to stay here. With the happy preparation of the villagers, Qin Zhe had a simple breakfast and some food such as eggs and sweet potatoes to fill his stomach. Although it looks a bit shabby, this is already the best hospitality that the village can offer. Farewell to the villagers, Qin Zhe walked all the way towards Rinjia town. For ordinary people, the long journey from Wujia village to Rinjia town requires a carriage or a horse, otherwise walking would be exhausting. But for Qin Zhe, it was completely unnecessary. The non-dot-stop journey along the way was also a form of cultivation. Both in terms of speed and physical strength, there can be a certain improvement. Living in the world of zombies, although he has a system around him, it is best to seize every opportunity to improve his strength before fully growing up. After all, this is a zombie world, and it's not just about the demons and monsters in Uncle Nine's movies. Who knows what other things will suddenly pop up. On this journey, I didn't encounter any monsters or monsters, but I did encounter several robbers, but all of them were easily solved. Quickly, two days passed and the distance from Rinjia town became closer and closer. Meanwhile, on the other side. In the direction of Qin Zhe's journey, a carriage slowly headed towards Rinjia town. Miss, this time you have returned from the provincial capital, the master will be happy for several days. In the carriage, the elderly Wu Bo spoke to a young woman wearing a white western dress, a white hat, and delicate features. There is a hint of respect and happiness in the tone, it's not that he hasn't come to the provincial capital to see me for several months. If I don't go back, he definitely won't even think of me. I only know how to do business, but I don't care about others. The girl said angrily. I have no choice, the master is too busy. Recently, not only will I be busy with business matters, but I also need to deal with matters related to the great grandfather. Wu Bo sighed and said. However, if Miss could find an uncle, wouldn't the master save a lot of trouble, he said jokingly. Forget it, I don't want to get married early. Wu Bo, if you say that again, I can go back and complain to my grandfather. Okay. Okay, no more talking, no more talking. Wu Bo finished and said with a smile. However, at that moment, a loud noise suddenly came from outside. Bang bang. Immediately after, a deafening sound penetrated the eardrums, and the mournful cries of the horses suddenly came. The whole carriage lost control and collided fiercely with a nearby tree, causing the entire carriage to overturn. End of this chapter.
Chapter 5 Flash Sale You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Flash Sale Wu Bo climbed out of the carriage and quickly checked the girl's situation, saying, Miss, are you okay? I'm fine. The girl stood up trembling, her face slightly pale, which was due to being frightened. Is it okay? Now you have something to do. Beside the overturned horses, five or six fierce-looking bandits quickly gathered with large swords and firearms, led by a bearded one with a cold and piercing voice. As soon as these people appeared, Wu Bo and the girl's face instantly turned pale. It goes without saying that they had met the bandits. And being able to appear so ostentatiously in broad daylight, forcing the carriage to stop, the situation is very bad. Either for money or for people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Steward Wu from Rinjia Town. This is Mr. Ren's daughter in Rinjia Town. We will give you as much money as you want. Don't harm my young lady. Wu Bo remained calm and obedient. With so many people holding weapons, if they resist, none of them will survive. The Ren family is also considered a prestigious family in this area, with a deep foundation. As long as they are not fools, they will not easily provoke them. Otherwise, they will spend a lot of money to hire warlords and have enough to drink for these bandits. So, if you report your name, perhaps there is still room for discussion. Ha ha ha. Ren family. Sorry, it's you who caught me. The bearded man arrogantly said, and besides, we're not here for money. Wu Bo's heart instantly cooled down. Not for money. That is being human however, the Ren family has always had a high reputation in Rinjia town and has not committed any crimes against anyone. How could they have had such trouble finding them? At the next moment, the bearded man waved his hand and several of his subordinates lifted Wu Bo up. At this moment, Wu Bo realized that the groom driving the carriage and the accompanying guards were already dead and could no longer die. Hero, if you have something to say, let me go with you, let my young lady go. Wu Bo made a final effort. Get lost. Just one more word, believe it or not, I'll kill you. The bearded man kicked Wu Bo in the stomach and said fiercely. Later, he looked at Ren Tingting, who was already frightened and speechless, and said, Little girl looks really good, it's a pity. Tie her up, don't hurt her. Words fall. Quickly gather a few people and take out a rope to tie Ren Tingting up. However, just then, a steady sound of footsteps suddenly came from afar. What person? The bearded man leading the way let out a loud shout and suddenly turned his head to look. The other few people's gaze also focused on the sudden appearance of the figure, full of vigilance. It was a bit surprising for them that a person appeared quietly in this wilderness. It's not that the visitor is not kind. I saw that the newcomer was very tall, half a head taller than them, and had a strong and perfect physique. It was Qin Zhe who was on his way. Taoist. However, when the bandits looked at the clothes the guests were wearing, the alert expression on their faces disappeared instantly, and cruel smiles couldn't hide their appearance. At first, when they saw the newcomer, they were a little nervous to be honest, after all, this guy looked more like a bandit without looking at his face. But seeing the yellow Taoist robe on their bodies, their worries instantly disappeared. After all, a Taoist who is unarmed and specializes in handling affairs. What threat can it pose to them? Kid, stop. The bearded man raised his machete and pointed at Qin Zhe arrogantly. Qin Zhe ignored the gaze of the three of them and continued to follow his own path, moving forward without stopping. Damn it, can't you understand human language? The man suddenly became angry. He had run rampant in this area. When has he been so underestimated? A stinky Taoist who dares to shake his face here is simply seeking death. Kid, you're unlucky when you see something you shouldn't be looking at. He was very unhappy in his heart, and coupled with being caught committing murder, he had to keep it a secret. He had already sentenced Qin Zhe to death in his heart. Brother, why bother talking to him? 
just kill him directly. Yeah, the stinky Taoist is a bit useful for dealing with some evil creatures. He can only obediently submit to us. The bandits next to Qin Zhe completely ignored him. What's the use of being strong? After a few cuts, they were all chopped into meat paste. Even if the knife doesn't work and there is a gun in hand, what tricks can the other party come up with? Same person, burping like eating peanuts. As he spoke, the nearest little man to Qin Zhe took the lead and rushed forward with a curved sword, cutting towards Qin Zhe's head. Qin Zhe's mouth twitched. What kind of thing is this? I just passed by here with good manners, and without doing anything, I was suddenly struck with a knife. It's fortunate that I have the strength. If I had to change someone, I wouldn't have to die in this wilderness for no reason. Seeking death. Qin Zhe was provoked for no reason, and he was also a bit angry in his heart. The amount of blood stuck in these people's hands was unknown. He doesn't mind giving them a ride. With a flash of his figure, his speed was unimaginable, and Qin Zhe punched the little man. Carrying a powerful punch, even zombies cannot withstand it, let alone horse bandits with mortal bodies. Under this fist, the little one flew out like a shell from the barrel, flying more than ten meters away and landing heavily on the ground, instantly losing his breath. The bandits were so shocked and they saw this scene that their chins almost fell out. Lying trough. What was posted just now? But soon, anger emerged from their hearts. Kid, you're looking for death. My companion was killed, and my reason was suppressed by anger at this moment. The bearded man led by him roared angrily, shoot him, kill him. Bang! With several gunshots rising, bullets slashed through the air and shot fiercely towards Qin Zhe. Buzz! A gust of wind blew by. Qin Zhe unleashed his aura of seeing and hearing, his momentum skyrocketed, and his speed skyrocketed. He ignored the passing bullets, his figure weaving around the few people, like a ghostly figure, reaching its extreme speed. Dong dong dong. I thought I could definitely hit the bullet of this stinky Taoist, but I lost my target and hit a tree in the distance, splashing a piece of sawdust. The bearded man saw this and his face suddenly changed. Sweat rushed out of his forehead, and a chill instantly rose from his saws before climbing over his spine and rushing straight to his brain. Holy crap dodging bullets. At the same time as he was shocked, several mournful cries rang out next to him, and several bandits holding firearms were instantly solved by Qin Zhe. The weapons they were holding were also forcibly folded in half. Subsequently, several other armed bandits were killed in the same way. The bearded man's face was full of fear, and he kept retreating, where could he still be as arrogant as before? This can no longer be described as abnormal. This may not have offended the gods. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Slaying Horse Bandits Get Merit Points You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Slaying Horse Bandits Get merit points. Young Xia, if you have something to say, I'll give you whatever you want. The bearded man had ten thousand regrets in his heart. Who could have imagined that a young Taoist would have such terrifying abilities, completely unlike a human? Knowing it's impossible to deal with him, it's better to beg for mercy first, and then go back and let the boss handle him more securely. However, his thoughts are very beautiful, and the reality is cruel. The next moment. He widened his eyes. Looking at my chest in disbelief. The curved knife in my hand disappeared at some point, piercing through my chest. Until he died, he didn't understand how the person in front of him seemed so young and decisive in his actions. And, shouldn't Taoists be compassionate? Why would they kill someone? Dong. The bearded man fell to the ground, unable to close his eyes in death. Who? Qin Zhe exhaled a hot breath and killed these people, but there was no trace of blood on his body. The entire process, not even exceeding three seconds. 
these seemingly ferocious bandits, in his eyes, were no different from little Karami. If it weren't for them suddenly wanting to kill themselves, he wouldn't have bothered to pay attention to them. All of them are dead. Ren Tingting looked at the body lying on the ground in disbelief, her watery eyes staring like copper bells. Just now, the fierce bandits, who were still holding their heads high, were actually solved by the man in front of them in just a few seconds. Thank you very much for the immortal's help. I am truly grateful. I wonder if the immortal is willing to spend some time at Ren's home. My master will definitely reward me with a heavy gift. Wu Bo quickly stood up and respectfully said to Qin Ze, thanking him for his righteous action. At this moment, Ren Tingting also reacted and said gratefully, Thank you so much for saving me, your majesty. Such great kindness and virtue will be unforgettable to me forever. Qin Ze finally realized that the two were actually members of the Ren family. What a coincidence! I didn't expect to meet you here. Qin Ze pondered in his heart and glanced slightly at Ren Tingting. Her appearance was indeed outstanding, no wonder in the original film, when Kai and Chiu Sheng were fascinated by the five mysteries. However, his actions were not meant to be righteous, it was just that the bandits wanted to kill themselves. There's no need to go to the Ren family, but my destination for this trip is Ren family town, so I can travel with you. Qin Ze said calmly. The presence of the Ren family here indicates that they are not far from their destination. As locals, they should know the best route to Rinjia town. And along the way, you can also have a companion to relieve stress. That's great, thank you very much, my lord. Wu Bo's visible happiness on his face naturally did not refuse, and he longed for Qin Ze to be with them. After all, after experiencing what happened just now, there is always a knot in my heart. Who knows if there will be other people ambushing ahead, and along the way, there will be Qin Ze, a divine figure. Who dares to come and cause trouble? As for why he went to Rinjia town, he wouldn't ask. Immortals do things, he doesn't have the qualifications to talk too much. Ren Tingting's pretty face showed joy, and as she looked at Qin Ze, she couldn't help feeling a sense of security in her heart. This horse has been killed, and the sedan chair cannot be used anymore. Let's walk over. How far is it from Rinjia town? Qin Ze glanced at the tattered carriage and the suffocating horses and asked. It's almost there. It's only about a three-hour shortcut, and you should be able to get there before it gets dark today. Wu Bo said respectfully. Qin Ze nodded, and just then, a systematic voice suddenly rang in his mind. Congratulations to the host, kill six bandits. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained 600 merit points. System panel update. Name. Qin Ze Devil Fruit Development. Beginner, Human Beast Form, Unlocked, Green Dragon Form, Unlocked, Tri-Color Dominance. Armed Dominance, Junior, Seeing Dominance, Junior, Dominance Dominance, Unawakened, Skill. None Physical Fitness. Mid-Green Stiff Period Merit Point. 3000 There are a total of 3000 merit points, of which 2000 were obtained from killing the green zombie before, and the other 1000 were obtained along the way, including the horse bandits that were just killed. The later it goes, the higher the merit points needed to improve fusion. Previously, it consumed 2500 merit points, awakening the dominance of seeing, hearing, and color. This time, according to the system's prompt, more merit points need to be consumed in order to start the next stage. Of course, there are many benefits to merit points. For example, one can acquire skills such as Thundering Bagua, Descending the Third World Hyanaluo, Diamond Dysprosium, Roaring Thunder Bagua, Dawei de Thundering Bagua, and so on. For example, you can obtain the domineering color and aura, increase the level of domineering aura, and engage in domineering entanglement. For example, improving the development level of Devil Fruit however, some skills are locked, and in the primary state of Devil Fruit, skills in the form of humans, beasts, and green dragons cannot be used. Even if there are merit points, they cannot be unlocked, 
and even thunder gossip requires activating the eight fastings first. So currently, the most important thing is to first get the weapons in hand, and then increase the development level of the devil fruit. How many merit points does it take to obtain the eight fasts in the system? Ding! We need 6,000 merit points. With 6,000 merit points, Qin Ze had a rough idea in his mind and set this as his next stage goal. Along the way, Qin Ze, Wu Bo, and Ren Tingting had a great conversation, and with the education they received in their past lives and some knowledge they gained online, they were slightly shocked. Dao Chang really has countless experiences. Wu Bo sighed sincerely. He is almost 70 years old this year, and has spent most of his life with extremely rich experience. However, compared to Qin Ze, he still feels a bit cramped. Ren Tingting was momentarily stunned by the fresh knowledge, feeling like her brain was tickling. There was something about to grow, and her gaze towards Qin Ze was even more dazzling. She was curious about how a Taoist could know all this, even though she had studied in the provincial capital. About three hours later, the group arrived at their destination, a bustling town that caught their eye. Rinjia Town, the largest town within a radius of 100 miles, is a transportation fortress with a complex population of officials, merchants, merchants, and even warlords occasionally coming and going. On both sides of the street, there were constant cries of shouting, selling, and playing. Standing at the street entrance, Qin Ze had a sense of familiarity with watching movies in his past life. Taoist, are you really not going to the Ren family to sit down? Wu Bo really wanted Qin Ze to go to the Ren family, and he believed that the master would definitely like it. Qin Ze didn't want to deal with the so dot called worldly wisdom, so he waved his hand and said, No, I'll have the opportunity to visit you again in the future. Ren Tingting flashed a hint of disappointment, but upon hearing the latter half of the sentence, her heart was filled with joy. I won't force you, Taoist. Let's say goodbye now. Wu Bo knew that divine beings like Qin Ze have always been straightforward, and no matter what they say, it can be annoying. Pulling Ren Tingting, Wu Bo bid farewell to Qin Ze. Qin Ze asked someone and found out where Uncle Jiu lived. He also took his steps and rushed to the Yizhuang. End of this chapter Chapter 7 See Uncle 9 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 See Uncle 9 On the other side, Joshu Yizhuang In the main room, Uncle Jio sat on the Grand Tutor's chair, drinking self-brewed tea. Leaving Mao Shan, it has been more than a decade since then, traveling south and north for many years. He has witnessed many evil and harmful incidents, marveling at the proliferation of evil spirits, and also feeling some emotion towards the chaotic times now. After years of hard work, he opened a charity village in Rinjia town and engaged in some business with the dead. From time to time, he also helps ordinary people ward off evil and avoid harm. He has a good reputation throughout the town and is a trusted Taoist priest. Just at this moment, he has a headache, and the reason is not his. The two disciples who were raised from childhood to adulthood have completely opposite personalities to him, which is extremely unsettling. In terms of cultivation, the two of them have very poor talents, and for such a long time, their realm has not yet surpassed the triple level of human teacher. Just as I was thinking about it, Suddenly a commotion came from outside. Uncle Jiu helped his forehead. You don't have to think about it, it must be Wen Kai and Chosheng who are up to something again. I don't practice well every day, and I end up doing some things that I don't have. Standing up from the chair, Uncle Jiu was about to pace out when he heard the door suddenly pushed open. Wen Kai and Chosheng hurriedly walked in. Two stinky kids, have you completed today's training task? Uncle Jiu looked at the two of them in a panic, without any calmness from a cultivator, and said angrily. When Kai's face turned slightly bitter and he said, Master, don't talk about whether to cultivate or not. It seems like there's a bandit outside. He's very burly. Horse bandits. Uncle Jiu's face was startled. 
He was aware of the horse bandits around Ringia town, and their influence was quite strong. However, what he did not expect was that these horse bandits were so rampant that they dared to cause trouble here in broad daylight. Do you think Taoists are easy to bully? Or have you become accustomed to being reckless? One day, we have to clean up these guys. Let's go, take me out and take a look. Uncle Jio immediately said. He wanted to see what kind of bandits dare to come here alone. Follow the two disciples and step out. However, when he saw the horse bandits mentioned by the two disciples at the entrance of Yizhuang, Uncle Jio couldn't help but twitch his lips. I want to give the two of them a direct kick. Can you also recognize him as a bandit even if he wears Taoist clothing? However, this physique is indeed somewhat imaginative, judging from the attire of my fellow disciples, I am also from the same sect. I wonder what school my fellow disciples are from. The person who came naturally was Qin Ze. He knew that this was Uncle Jio asking about his background. In these days, the war is chaotic, with warlords and fugitives everywhere. One word summary is, chaos. The person I am most afraid of encountering is someone from an improper background. These people hold the excuse of seeking help and do not know what their intentions are in their hearts. It is difficult for most people to see through. I am Qin Ze, a disciple of Mao Shan. I have met senior brother Lin. Qin Ze reported his own family background. Are you a Taoist from Mao Shan? Uncle Jiu was somewhat surprised, his expression similar to that of the previous four-eyed Taoist, which was not his fault. He had also never seen the new generation of Mao Shan disciples. Qin Ze repeated what he had said to the four-eyes Taoist before. Uncle Jio finally confirmed that he was really his junior brother. I couldn't help but carefully scrutinized Qin Ze a few times and nodded repeatedly, okay, okay, great. His cultivation in Mao Shan is second only to Shi Jian in strength, except for the generation of the Heavenly Master. With so many years of wandering outside, he can tell at a glance what a person is like. Whether in terms of temperament or calm personality, this junior brother is much stronger than his two disciples. Just a little puzzled him, why there is no trace of cultivation on my junior brother. This can't help but be a bit strange. Those who can start from Mao Shan and venture outside, not to mention those who have broken through the realm of the earth, at least they must have people who can master the six heavens or above. Qin Ze saw a hint of doubt in Uncle Jio's eyes, but he didn't explain it much. After that, there was plenty of time. Senior brother, I heard that you have opened a charity village here. Junior brother wants to stay here for a while when he goes out of the mountain. Would it be convenient for him? Uncle Jio laughed heartily. He thought he had something to ask him for. In times of chaos, it is normal to seek refuge with others. Isn't it just living here? For fellow disciples who come from the same sect, even if they stay here for a short period of time, there is no problem at all. Of course not a problem. If you want to live, as long as you don't mind staying forever. Uncle Jio immediately agreed. Thank you very much, senior brother. Qin Ze smiled and said. Seeing Qin Ze so polite, Uncle Jio had a much better impression of him. You too, haven't you seen junior uncle yet? When Kai and Chiu Sheng, looking at Qin Ze at this moment, still felt a bit shocked and froze in place. They didn't expect that this burly figure was actually a Taoist from Mao Shan, and he was also the junior brother of his master. But it seems like I'm not much older than myself, I've seen little master. Although when Kai and Chiu Sheng couldn't quite describe it, after all, their seniority was placed there. Qin Ze nodded slightly and didn't say much. It was just a way of calling, and it wasn't awkward to shout. It's definitely not easy to come from such a long distance. When Kai Chioshan, you two go help little master tidy up the house. Uncle Jio immediately ordered the two disciples to say. When Kai and Chioshan naturally had no objections. With their help, a room was quickly cleaned up. Junior uncle, please stay for now. 
If there is anything else in the future, you can call us. Chiosheng said. Okay, thank you all for your hard work. Go do your own thing. Qin Zhe nodded without any airs. This made Chiu Sheng and Wen Kai couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Fortunately, although this senior brother looks a bit domineering, his personality seems to be quite good. After all, no one wants to work with someone who likes to put on airs and be aloof. Anyone who encounters this kind of person will feel overwhelmed. Finally settled down. After Wen Kai and Chiu Sheng left, Qin Zhe glanced around the room and sat on the bed. Coming out of Mao Shan, the journey was full of dust and dust, finally solving the problem of housing. However, this is only a temporary resting place. If there is a more suitable place, Qin Zhe will definitely move out. The premise is that the strength needs to grow to a certain level. In the world of zombies, there are not only righteous Taoists from Mao Shan, but also many evil cultivators. The cultivation of a Taoist can be divided into three major realms. Human teacher, earth teacher, and heavenly teacher, each with nine levels. There are more than ten levels of zombies. They are purple zombie, white zombie or black zombie, green zombie, hairy zombie, flying zombie, wandering zombie, subdued zombie, non-bony zombie, and drought zombie from my previous experience staying on Maoshan it can be seen that the peak of the green zombie generally corresponds to the strength of the cultivator earth master Wuchongshan. Qin Zhe's physical fitness is currently in the middle stage of the green stiffening period, so if we follow the Taoist cultivation system, it would be around the triple heaven of the earth master. However, his true combat power is far more than that. With the recovery ability of Kai Duo, coupled with the support of armed color dominance and seeing and hearing color dominance, Ordinary Mao Muan is not necessarily his opponent. If it corresponds to the Taoist realm, he is at least triple on the ground division. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Is there even a sky full of human teachers? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Is there even a sky full of human teachers? Holy crap thinking about it, Qin Zhe suddenly realized something was wrong. His opening seemed a bit strong. Only then did he awaken the dominance of armed and visible colors, and the development of devil fruit was only in its early stages, possessing the triple strength of a land master. If he awakens those abilities behind him and transforms into a green dragon, he dare not think. As far as he knows, the cultivation level of the four-eyed Taoist is only around the four heavens of the earth master, while the nine uncle is in the eight heavens of the earth master. That is to say, he now has almost the same strength as Uncle Nine, or even stronger. However, upon careful consideration, it is also reasonable. After all, Kaido is known as the strongest creature in the world of sea, land, and air in the pirates, with enough strength to surpass the sky, and is hailed as the strongest in solo combat. Even if caught by the navy, it cannot be killed. So starting higher is also normal. First, gain more merit points to enhance integration, otherwise it will only be limited to this. Merit is the key. Qin Zhe is not very worried about this now. Coming to Rinjia town, I was with Uncle Jiu to better hunt down monsters and monsters. As Ren Tingting has just returned from the provincial capital, the plot of Mr. Zombie should be about to unfold. Thinking about it, Qin Zhe fell asleep. When he woke up, it was already dawn. He tidied up his clothes, pushed the door open, and met Chiu walking towards him. Junior uncle, you're awake. I was just going to call you for breakfast. Chiu chuckled when he saw Qin Zhe. That's it. Qin Zhe nodded and said with a smile. Following Chiu to the dining place, Qin Zhe and Uncle Jiu greeted him and sat down. It was a bit strange, Although it was the first time eating with Uncle Jiu and the others, Qin Zhe was not very awkward. Perhaps because he had watched many zombie movies, he also had an inexplicable sense of familiarity. He ate porridge in the bowl naturally and talked with Uncle Jiu from time to time. From a simple conversation, Qin Zhe learned that Rinjia town has been very unstable recently. 
Not only are there often horse bandits around, plotting wealth and extorting money, but the whole town is also breeding evil spirits, as if something bad is about to happen. Qin Zhe understood that old master Ren was about to come out and become a demon. When you have nothing to do lately, don't go out and wander around. Uncle Jill finished eating and put down his chopsticks in his hand, warning loudly, with his eyes fixed on the two disciples. The meaning goes without saying. You two are the focus of attention, and have no other abilities. Your ability to cause trouble is unparalleled, so go out less at night. When Kai bit Mantu, grinned, and did not take it seriously. If there is a master here, whatever he is, he will be killed. He's right, after all, every time they cause trouble, it's Uncle Jio who cleans their buttocks, so naturally it doesn't matter. Chiu-shing took over the conversation and said, yes, if my master gets old, he won't be able to do it. I still have a young master now, and I don't mind any demons or monsters. Although I have never seen the young master take action, I am still a Taoist from Maoshan. Even if I cannot compare with my master, I should be stronger than myself. After speaking, pass Qin Zhe a strong look from your senior uncle. You two stinky kids, if you don't learn well and talk a lot of witty things, today you'll be fined twice your practice time. Uncle Jio glared at them and said angrily. If you don't give a stick a day, you'll have to go up to the house and uncover the tiles. Foolish birds fly first, if their talent is not good, then work hard. Upon hearing the practice, Wen Kai and Chiu Sheng were like deflated balls, instantly losing their breath. They lowered their heads and muttered in a muffled voice, expressing that they didn't want to talk to their master. However, their words reminded Uncle Jio. Yeah. I don't know what cultivation my junior brother is now. I need to have a bottom in my heart. Upon hearing this, Uncle Jio looked at Qin Zhe and asked, Junior brother, what level of strength are you currently in? Generally speaking, asking someone about their level of strength is actually a very impolite behavior, and it can even easily lead to malicious thoughts. After all, in a chaotic world, no one will casually reveal their own secrets. This is equivalent to setting unnecessary obstacles for oneself. But fellow disciples are different. So Uncle Jio was very straightforward and went straight to the topic without any hesitation. This statement came out. The literary talent Chioshan, who lowered his head to pick up rice, had a bright look in his eyes. He looked up at the young martial uncle, who was also very curious. Qin Zhe ate the porridge in front of him. The three people's hot eyes made him feel that he had been asked about the final exam scores in his previous life, actually, junior brother has no cultivation and has not yet broken through the realm of, human teacher. He honestly explained his own situation, which is a fact. According to the Taoist cultivation system, he did not even reach the level of a human teacher. Xiao Shu Shu is amazing. I didn't expect to break through the heavenly earth. Look at me, eh? What did you say just now, Xiao Shishu? Chioshin widened his eyes, thinking he had heard it wrong. What situation is it? As a disciple of Mao Shan, the junior brother of the master, little master, is not even a human teacher. Wen Kai also looked puzzled. This is different from what I imagined. Although he doesn't think that the young master's strength can match that of the master, after all, he is too young for his age, but it's impossible for him to be inferior to them. The cultivation of literary talent is the triple heaven of human teacher, while the cultivation of Chiu Sheng is the quadruple heaven of human teacher. Only Uncle Jiu sighed in his heart when he heard these words. I didn't expect it to be this result. When we first met yesterday, he noticed that there were no cultivation marks on his junior brother. He thought there might be some special reason or some magical tool blocking his breath. I don't believe in those without cultivation, after all, my junior brother's identity is there. Those who can come out of Maoshan may not necessarily be outstanding in their peers, but they are definitely not inferior. I just didn't expect it to be like this. However, he did not despise Qin Zhe because of this. After all, even if his fellow disciples do not have cultivation now, 
the problem is not significant. It is only a matter of responsibility for him. Junior brother, it's okay. Our Taoist values self.cultivation the most. You have a good mentality and a stable personality, and I believe you can come from behind in the future. Uncle Jio chuckled and casually skipped the topic. Although he said so, he understood very well that practicing has never been easy, and it is even more difficult to start from scratch. Qin Zhei knew it would be this reaction, and just as he was about to continue speaking, the door of the Yizhuang was suddenly knocked on, followed by a sound. Excuse me, is Uncle Jio at home? Upon seeing this, when Kai casually wiped his mouth with his sleeve, lifted his pants, and quickly ran to the door to open it. A man in a long robe walked in. When the visitor saw Uncle Jio, his face, which was originally somewhat bitter melon-like, immediately improved a lot. He quickly walked up and said, Uncle Jio, my master invites you to visit Shanwen restaurant to talk about something. Grandpa's house has been haunted recently. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Tan Million Comes. The Plot of Mr. Lingwan. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9. Tan Million Comes. The Plot of Mr. Lingwan. Haunted. Uncle Joe's face changed and he quickly got up to inquire about the situation. Through conversation, he found out that this person was actually a servant of the Tan Mansion which has been haunted frequently at night and has been plagued by lingering Yin Qi. Mr. Tan sleeps restlessly every day, so he thought of the famous Joshu and came to Rinjia town from Taishan. Okay, I got it. Uncle Jio nodded and said, these demons and monsters are becoming more and more rampant, and he needs to go out and relax. Thank you, Uncle Jio. Our grandfather is waiting for you at the restaurant. The servant clasped his fists and nodded respectfully. People come and go quickly. Qin Zhei listened to the conversation between the two just now and understood that the person coming was a servant of Tan Million Mansion. This is the plot of Mr. Ling Huan. He was somewhat surprised, not expecting the plot of Mr. Ling Huan to start at this moment. He always thought that the events in Mr. Zombie would appear first. It seems that some events in the zombie world are not presented in a linear manner. Master, it's Shanwen restaurant. Let's hurry over later. When Kai focused most of his attention on the restaurant and said excitedly. Shanwen restaurant is the most luxurious place in Rinjia town, with extremely high consumption. Generally, the cost of a meal is enough for the average person's monthly meal expenses. Those who can enter and entertain meals are all influential figures, either wealthy, wealthy, or both. They have been here for many years and have never been to such a place before. Being invited this time, it is inevitable that they are a bit eager to try. Uncle Joe rolled his eyes and slammed when Kai's head hard with the chopsticks on the table. Look at how you've never seen the world before. When Kai felt a bit aggrieved and murmured softly, haven't you also been there? Autumn saw Wen Kai feeling exhausted and secretly smiled on the side. I have no aspiration for such a place, Master, said Uncle Jio with righteous words. You should also do the same, don't think about indulging in pleasure every day. Wen Kai nodded, not daring to refute, indicating that what you said, Master, was correct. Uncle Jio put down half of the sweet potatoes in his bowl, glanced at Qin Zhei, and stood up with his hands behind his back. Junior brother, go to the restaurant with senior brother to have a look. Qin Zhei smiled and said, Okay. The two disciples exclaimed in their hearts, Master, you are really an old six. Didn't you just disdain me? Surprisingly, he left the restaurant before even finishing his meal. Sure enough, we haven't learned the essence of your interpersonal skills. Although roast in the heart, their feet were moving fast. They went up to beat their legs and pinched their waist for the master, saying that they would definitely need two towns to meet Master Tan this time. Quickly, a group of four arrived in front of a magnificent restaurant, adorned with various decorations. Most of the people entering and exiting were gentry wearing suits and hats. 
Uncle Gio and a few others walked straight in. Wow, master, this place is so grand. Just as I entered, I saw the decoration style and some gorgeous tableware around me. When Kai immediately transformed into the appearance of Lu Lao Lao entering the Grand View Garden. Take a look here and there, revealing the four words, I have never seen the world without a doubt. Uncle Jio supported his head, indicating a moment of silence. May I ask if you have an appointment? At this moment, the waiter who thought he was dressed neatly and polite walked up and said to the four people with a somewhat disdainful tone. The clothes of the four were very simple. Although they didn't look bad outside, they felt a bit cramped inside. What's going on? Mr. Tan is not in the restaurant, have you reserved a spot for us? Upon hearing these somewhat contemptuous words, Chushing deliberately raised the tone so that those around him could also hear it. This statement came out. All the surrounding gaze brushed over, but their gaze was not on Chushin, but was attracted by Qin Zhe. I'll go, what a strong young man. Whether you look good or not, your temperament is also good. Are you a disciple of the novice ninth uncle? Dot. Some people who know Uncle Jio are whispering their opinions. The waiter's face changed slightly. Although Mr. Tan is not from Rinjia town, he is also very famous in this area and belongs to the wealthy and powerful. The guests invited by such a person are not something that he, as a small waiter, can afford to provoke. It's Master Tan's distinguished guest. I have eyes but don't know the truth. The location has already been reserved for you. I'll take you there. Please, four. The waiter instantly changed into a flattering smile. Thank you very much. Uncle Jio nodded slightly and said. Under the guidance of the waiter, the four of them arrived at the location on the second floor. As soon as they entered, they saw two wealthy people chatting and laughing happily. As they opened the door, they also looked over. Seeing that Uncle Jio had come over, the two of them quickly stopped talking and stood up. Uncle Jio, you have finally arrived. Hurry up, please sit down. The speaker is Mr. Tan Million. Mr. Tan, you're welcome. Uncle Jio nodded with a smile, and Qin Zhe and his two disciples also sat down. Uncle Jio, long admired. At this moment, the wealthy businessman sitting next to Tan Million greeted Uncle Jio with a smile. Mr. Ren. Uncle Jio knew this person, who was the richest man in the Ren family town, Mr. Ren. He was a bit surprised and didn't expect Mr. Ren to be here too. Ha ha ha. I'm having dinner with my daughter here and met an acquaintance. I heard you're coming over, so I came to take a look too. Mr. Ren smiled and said. Uncle Jio nodded and looked at Mr. Tan, saying, I don't know why Mr. Tan came here from Taishan specifically. Although he roughly understood that it was due to the ghost, he still wanted to inquire. As soon as these words were spoken, Mr. Tan's face instantly collapsed. Uncle Jio, you don't know anything about it. Recently, I have been unable to sleep and always feel like something is lying on my body. I feel uncomfortable at home and feel extremely tired all day long. Mr. Tan pointed to two black circles under his eyes and said bitterly. I seem to have suffered a lot from the tone. My mansion seems to be haunted by ghosts. Uncle Jio nodded, and as expected, just as he was about to continue speaking, Qin Zhe's eyebrows slightly raised and he spoke, I see that Mr. Tan has several different yin and evil spirits entangled in him. Is there more than one ghost causing trouble in your mansion? And you probably don't just have this feeling lately. I'm sure these ghosts have been pestering Mr. Tan for at least a year or two. But now it's getting worse. During this period, Mr. Tan did not find anyone else. As soon as Qin Zhe spoke, Uncle Jio's face immediately froze. He looked at his junior brother with some surprise, can you tell? Subsequently, he gathered his true energy above his eyes and wiped a willow leaf on his eyelids without leaving any trace. Sure enough, I saw several different yin qi on Mr. Tan, and these yin qi were intertwined with Mr. Tan, which seemed to have existed for more than a year. 
isn't this kid without cultivation? How could he have such keen insight? Uncle Jio was shocked in his heart. He used some spells to see clearly the physical condition of Mr. Tan, but Qin Zhe did not make any movements throughout, but he could tell at a glance what was going on. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Ren Tingting is here. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Ren Tingting is here. Uncle Jio was a bit puzzled. I have been a Taoist for many years and have never encountered such a thing before. Isn't it a misunderstanding? Right, right, you're right. Mr. Tan's eyes lit up suddenly, as if seeing a life-saving straw, and he looked at Qin Zhe excitedly. This statement went into his heart. At this moment, he is like a critically ill patient seeking medical treatment. Can a patient have a greater sense of security when they see a doctor say the first sentence and the other person can accurately state their pathology? Mr. Tan feels this way right now. If someone says it right at a glance, it means that things shouldn't be so bad and can be resolved. Mr. Tan continued, Actually, I've been looking for other people during this period, but they all took money and didn't do anything. I've heard that Uncle Jio has profound Taoist skills, so I came here specifically this time. The martial arts sorcerers he found were all useless, they had to pay extra for their cards and didn't do anything. By the way, how do you call this young friend? Mr. Tan looked at Uncle Jio and quickly asked for his name. Uncle Jio smiled and said, I forgot to introduce myself. This is a disciple of Mao Shan, my junior brother Qin Zhe. I didn't expect you to be a disciple of Mao Shan at a young age. You can't judge a person by their appearance. Mr. Tan bowed respectfully and said. At the beginning of entering the door, he noticed Qin Zhe. After all, it was difficult for him to pay attention to whether he was a big man or not. However, he thought he was a disciple of Uncle Jiu, similar to the two people next to him, so he automatically ignored him. Unexpectedly, he was a Taoist from Mao Shan. No wonder you can tell your situation at a glance. Mr. Ren was also somewhat surprised and said with a smile, It seems that Mao Shan has produced another good disciple. As he spoke, he couldn't help but take a few more glances at Qin Zhe. He could see at a glance what was happening to Mr. Tan, and he must have a strong ability. Perhaps he could talk about his family's affairs here. Uncle Jio smiled awkwardly and didn't know how to answer. He knew it was his junior brother who didn't have cultivation. Although he didn't know why he didn't have cultivation, he could see these evil energies. But it doesn't necessarily mean it can be effectively solved. This kind of thing still needs to be done by someone with cultivation. Tell me, what exactly does Mr. Tan want us to do this time? Uncle Jio opened the door and said to the mountain. Mr. Tan said his purpose. To be honest, I came to Rinjia town this time to invite you to come to Tanfu to eliminate the ghosts. After the matter is completed, the remuneration will definitely not be less. It will be given at three times the market price. What do you think? When Kai and Xiuxing on one side have grown up with big mouths, and at three times the market price, they can earn a lot of money. Mr. Tan is indeed a wealthy person, and he is generous in his actions. Uncle Jio pondered for a while, realizing that money had little meaning to him. Instead, he turned to ask, May I ask if these ghosts have hurt you or your family during this period? I have been staying at Mr. Tan's mansion all along. Although it disturbed his rest, there have been no murders. He guessed that these ghosts should have good natures. Since that's the case, we still need to ask clearly before making any hasty conclusions. That's not true. They usually just show up to scare us or play tricks on our family, and they haven't done anything else. Mr. Tan shook his head helplessly. There was a reason for this, and he recounted the story. Originally, these ghosts only appeared after his new house was built, but the house was built on top of someone else's ancestral grave. Although the entire program is legal and compliant without any issues, this kind of thing is indeed disgraceful. In that case, then forgive us for being powerless. 
Mr. Tan, let's invite someone else to be clever. Uncle Jio decisively refused when he heard the truth about the matter. Uncle Jio, why is this? Grandpa Tan became a little anxious upon hearing this. I finally found someone who could handle it, but as soon as I could solve the incident in the mansion, it disappeared. It was like a cooked duck flying away. Don't be too uncomfortable. Is it a matter of money? If you think it's less, Uncle Jio, how about I double it again? Mr. Tan quickly said. Uncle Jio shook his head and said, it's not about money or not. As cultivators, we have always had a clear distinction between good and evil, and have our own principles for dealing with things. Whether it's with people or ghosts, this is the case. In this matter, Mr. Tan, you were the one who was wrong first, while the female ghost family has not harmed your family for almost two years. This indicates that her nature is not bad. She is not a vicious and vicious ghost. They are just being suppressed at the grave head, which leads to their lingering spirits and a bit of a temper. And that was originally their territory, even if I were a cultivator, I couldn't just drive people away easily. If that's the case, what's the difference between being a bandit and a horse bandit? Doing such a thing can easily lead to losing in virtue. So, please ask Mr. Tan to hire another expert. Uncle Jio explained his reasons one by one. Although he had learned all the skills, he never became cliché. Qin Zhe didn't speak. If he refuses, does it mean that the plot of Mr. Linghuan hasn't started? Let's take another look and see. So, what should we do about this? Mr. Tan panicked, wondering if his newly built house, which he had finally spent thousands of dollars on, would be so abandoned. Uncle Jiu, Taoist Qin, please come up with a solution. Mr. Tan almost knelt down. Mr. Ren looked at it and said, please think of a way for the two Taoist friends. Uncle Jiu couldn't help but furrow his brows. After a moment of contemplation, he proposed a compromise solution. Well, you won't kill me. I'll take some time to visit your place and see if we can talk to the ghosts and see if we can reincarnate them. Mr. Tan nodded repeatedly like a chicken pecking at rice and said, Okay, okay, let's do what Uncle Jio said. At this point, as long as he can solve the matter at home, it doesn't matter how he uses it. However, if they don't want to, we won't force it either. Uncle Jio continued. Mr. Tan understood what Uncle Jio meant and couldn't help but glance at Qin Zhe, saying, Well, how about Taoist Qin coming over together then? I'm willing to double the reward. He still remembers what Qin Zhe said at the beginning. If he were with Qin Zhe, his chances would definitely be much higher. Qin Zhe naturally wouldn't refuse. Dealing with these female ghosts would certainly earn some merit points. He immediately nodded and said, I will personally go when it's time. Uncle Joe considered his junior brother's situation and instinctively wanted to say no, but he thought that these ghosts had no malicious intent and were an opportunity for experience, so he didn't say much. Thank you very much then. Mr. Tan's mood noticeably improved upon seeing this. As the old man nodded, he saw that there was no problem with this matter and thought that everyone was there ready to talk about his own affairs as well. He came here to wait for Uncle Jio, not just to meet him. However, just as he was about to speak, the door was suddenly pushed open everyone looked over. I saw a woman with delicate features in a western dress walking in, it was Ren Tingting, the daughter of Mr. Ren. End of this chapter